let us now discuss particular regions of Russia. And let us start with the Moscow. With Moscow. Moscow is the capital and uh, its role is enormous. It's a huge city with uh, at least 12 million inhabitants. We can't say for sure how many people live in Moscow because uh, besides officially registered population, there are millions of migrants. They are attracted by Moscow salaries, by Moscow dynamics, by Moscow chances to improve their life. They come from other regions of Russia as well as uh, from abroad. About 8% of Russian population live in Moscow. Its share in the gross domestic product is high, is more than 22%. A larger part than in uh, other cities of Russia works in administrative sphere. They are bureaucrats. They work in various ministries, committees, services, but it's also a scientific center and even industrial center. Though many industrial enterprises have moved to other parts of European region of Russia or have been shut down during economic reforms of 90s. Moscow is the key destination of foreign direct investments, is the location of headquarters of largest Russian companies, including private companies and uh, state-owned enterprises as well. Incomes are high, but prices are high in Moscow as well. Let me say that uh, the salary of average teacher in Moscow is five times higher than the lowest regional average teacher's salary. Now we shall discuss federal districts of Russian Federation one by one. What are fe federal districts? In 2000, uh, when President Putin came to power, he has met a difficult administrative division of this country. More than 80 subjects of federation. And there was a wise decision to arrange so-called federal districts as intermediaries of information, of uh, uh, decisions between federal authorities and local authorities. They don't have their own budgets, their role is not so important from the point of view of administration. Anyway, <coughs> it's a convenient tool for us to uh, discuss not subjects of Russian Federation. We wouldn't have enough time for that, uh, but eight federal districts of Russian Federation. Their population uh, does not change seriously. During the last 10 years, Central Federal District and Volga Federal District remain the most populated ones, while the Far Eastern, being one of the largest by territory, remains the smallest by population, only 6 million inhabitants. This figure is comparable with the population of the Hokkaido Island in neighboring Japan. Central Federal District it's Moscow, it's regions around Moscow. And one third of its population is Moscow population. Industries of this region are versatile and uh, we can name many of them, but let us be short. Machine building of various kinds, science, services, food and agriculture, chemical industry, and many others are represented here. 
peculiarity of the Central Federal District uh, is uh, the most diversified economy, uh, comparatively, a comparatively dense population, and uh, educated labor force. For foreign tourists and for locals, it's also attractive uh, thanks to the so-called Golden Ring of Russia, old Russian towns with very interesting architecture. The countryside of the central Russia is not equally developed, not densely populated. And uh, let me say that every day uh, three villages disappear in Russia, many of them in the central part of Russia. Northwestern Federal District is one of the most interesting in Russia. Maybe I say so because I live in St. Petersburg and we uh, arrange this lecture here. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Uh, but uh, Northwestern Regional District is not only St. Petersburg. Uh, it includes versatile territories from ancient Russian cities Pskov and Novgorod to uh, Nova Zemlya islands populated mostly by polar bears. From uh, the shores of Barents Sea uh, and the Murmansk region with its uh, navy base of Russian fleet and uh, fishermen to uh, Komi Republic where uh, wood-based industries, coal, natural gas and oil extraction are the basis of the local economy. Ferrous metallurgy is also present here in Cheripovets, Volgda region to the east of St. Petersburg. But uh, the greatest concentration of uh, economic activity, skilled labor force, enterprises is in St. Petersburg and around St. Petersburg. Shipbuilding is the key industry here and the level of uh, qualification of labor force and education is quite high here. Quality of infrastructure is also high. The region is interesting for its neighboring the EU countries, Baltic countries and Finland. Due to that, export and import activity is a very important part of economic life in the northwestern region of Russia. 